Hey guys, right, so today we're going to run briefly through how you're going to get some settings onto your gyro cam. Um, as directed by the build instructions, first step you're going to do is download the GUI program. Um, in this case, version 2.40b7. And once you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and open it like this and get your gyro camera ready to be powered up um, and connected to the computer. So I'm going to connect the USB cable now to the bottom of the camera and as I do that you will see down here that it begins to load the driver files onto your PC or laptop. And when it's finished doing that, it's going to tell us which COM port it will have assigned itself to. And then you need to pick that COM port uh, in the GUI up here. Um, at this point in time, I have the gyro camera um, attached with some duct tape onto my dining room table. This allows me to manipulate the camera, the gyro cam whilst things are happening with the laptop. Okay, so COM13 is what my driver has given me and how to connect to the board. So I'm going to choose COM13 um, ready to connect to the gyro cam. At this point, what I would suggest is that you, without the camera on the front of the gyro cam, you can unplug the two uh, black uh, plug and sockets from each other from each other the motor wires and that means that when we are now attach the battery which I'm doing right now attach the battery and switch it on then it means that I can still manipulate the gyro cam without the motor trying to fight me at this point in time and also um, because I don't know what settings might be in the board, it'll be good to have it disconnected so it doesn't start to rotate wildly or do anything crazy at this point. So that's why I have the motor wires disconnected. Okay, so with it powered up with the battery and plugged into the laptop and the port set correctly, I'm going to connect. And you'll see here the numbers on the right hand side now. Uh, give me real-time data from the sensor within the gyro cam. And if you've got this far, then that's pretty much the hardest part done. You've got connected to the control board. Everything from here is pretty easy. Okay, so um, when you look at these numbers here, on the first time you um, boot up the gyro cam, these numbers might be all sorts of things, depends on how they've been set up by the manufacturer of the board. So two ways of getting these numbers correct, you can either download the profile as shown on our build instructions called mosquygyrocam.profile, save that somewhere on your laptop or PC and then just open it through here and it will change all the settings to uh, those which we need. The other way to do this is to use those reference images again on the build instructions page and manually set up these numbers and all these drop down menus and what have you. So once you know that you've got those set, again this is tab 2 now, we have some, the, the other axes are disabled, we have gyro trust at 180 and this accelerations compensation unticked. So these are all good settings which we now need to write to the control board. Um, one thing to mention is that if you see this number for power next to the roll here, we don't want to have that any higher really than 90. Um, you may, if you were to play with it and increase it, yes, you might get slightly um, slightly stronger force from the from the motor but also you're going to start risking 
fraying the control board by trying to ask for too much current. So trust us, just leave it at 90 and it will be fine. Okay, so with those settings loaded, I'm now going to write them to the control board. And again, once it's rebooted after that, you'll see the numbers change on the right hand side. Okay, uh, at this point, I will now connect the black motor wires back together again. And you should see that the gyro cam is now trying to hold a position. It may not be level yet, but it's trying to hold a position for you. Um, so also at this point, um, if it is holding a level position or a position quite well, then that's good. If yours is still vibrating wildly or doing anything a bit crazy, just double check the invert tick you might uh, need to use that inversion if your three motor wires are in a slightly different orientation just because of the way that you made them put them together so once you've inverted that hit the right key and all should be good again at this point also we need to actually physically attach the camera so uh, what we're going to do first is you see this button here called motors on and off. If you press that, it disengages the motor and I can freely rotate the gyro cam without the motor trying to fight me. And this is useful for when we're going to calibrate it in the next step. So I'm just going to attach the camera now, the actual action camera, onto the gyro cam using the rubber O-rings. And once I've done that, you'll see, yeah, there we go. So that it just means that we're going to actually be tuning this, if at all we even need to, with the actual weight there. So if, if you'd still have some slight like, vibrations before, they should go now because we've actually got the load on there, the dampening effect of the load. So the motor should be nice and quiet once we re-enable them in a moment. Uh, the last stage is to actually calibrate the sensor board. Two stages to that, calibrating accelerometers and calibrating the gyro sensors. What we have to do is level up the gyro cam as best you can with the horizon. The USB cable obviously should point down at this point. That is the bottom of the gyro cam. So what I do is using the USB cable move it slightly left or right so that I've got the level as accurate as possible on the camera. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to click the Calibrate ACC button. It says it's started and once it's finished, these numbers will match each other and come back to zero. And again, holding it exactly perfectly still, press the Calibrate Gyro button. It says it's started. And after a short while, these numbers start to come back and you know, you see live data and you know it's finished. After that, again, gyro cam is actually free to move at this point. You can see that roll moving, it's not fighting me. If, as soon as I turn the motors back on now, using this button, you see, boom, it goes straight back to level again. Zero is these, the roll number. And there you go, you have uh, a working gyro cam. If I try and move the motor, it fights me and comes back to level. And that is really all you have to do. Um, after you've done a calibration, double check, send another write down, just to be sure that it's going to save all that information in the in the control board. And that's really all we need to mention. Um, so it's that simple. Go ahead, give it a go. And there you go, you should be off and running with your gyro cam. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.